So that's, that's our plan, and we're proud of it. Trump, he's going to keep hiding behind that. He says he doesn't know anything about this Project 2025, doesn't know a damn thing about it. Here's what I say. I coach football long enough. No, you take the time to draw up a playbook, you're damn sure going to use it. You are damn sure going to run those plays. And you know how it starts. So you ask yourself, who's the right leader for our country? Kamala Harris, who has spent decades putting criminals behind bars, or Donald Trump and J.D. Vance, who get up every single morning, run to the nearest camera, and whine how they're being treated unfairly. I'll damn sure guarantee you, when they wake up in the morning, they're not thinking about you. You can be sure of that. They've never thought about you. Since the very beginning, Donald Trump has been on running on the politics of fear. Look, I know something about that. I supervised the lunchroom for a bunch of years. Fear. Fear is a good short-term motivator, but it doesn't inspire people. It doesn't change their behaviors. And what I did know about that lunchroom, too, is the bullies who want to instill fear, they're the first ones to find out what happens when the tide turns. He's running scared now. He's running scared. So look, all of the policy positions, all of the good policy positions, all of the things we know to be true, but we get a rare opportunity, too, to put an end to that divisiveness, to put it behind us, a future where we work together. And as I said, there's a lot of differences in here. We're a big tent party. We got a lot of differences that can come together. But at the end of the day, to find that new way forward, we put those differences aside, and let's get together for 64 days to take this country forward. Let's move on. I, I feel like I've done pretty well in here, so I'm not going to throw any shade on the Packers, I have to tell you. I kind of got you. I'm going to be there. Look, look, I, I hear all the jokes. People hold up their hand and say, you know what that is? That's a Viking Super Bowl ring. We know we don't have one. Give me a little bit of this. So look, we know what season it is. Football starts this week. We know that we're all on the same team. We know that we come together. It isn't just idle talk. When we come together, we can do amazing things. So here's the deal. Sisters and brothers in labor, it's time to get off the sidelines and get on the field. I know, I know you're busy. I know you've got full-time jobs. You got kids going back to school. Thank God they're going back to school. Teachers, nothing on that. But you've got things to do, but this is it. And when people come up to me, and I hear it, and I know they want to make politics ugly. They want to make it dismissive, and they want to make it to the point where people just throw up their hands and say, look, I'm just not that into politics. My response when somebody tells me they're just not that into politics is this, too damn bad politics is into you. And if you, if, you want it, if you want it in your exam room, if you want it in your bedroom, if you want it in your labor hall, then set back. But if you want to take control of things and you want to make sure that we have government serves the people, not the other way around, then you need to get out there. You know, whether it's labor rights, middle class rights, having corporations pay their fair share, all those things that impact our lives means we need you on the team and we need you now. So here's what we're going to do. We're doing it because we believe in the promise of America. We're doing it for folks, and some of you, I know you have your barbecues, and folks come and they say, oh, I wish I was in a union and had pension plan and things like that. And once again, yeah, we wish you were too. We wish you were too. Talk about the things we can make a difference. We're going to have to fight for this. It's not going to be easy. We're coming from behind, as I said, but we're comfortable in that position. Because I talk about this. The vice president oftentimes says this. When we fight, we win. We know that that's the case. You know what? When you talk to labor, you don't have to talk about fighting. You've been fighting your whole damn lives. It's what you do. You fight for everything you get. They're not going to give you that raise unless you go in there. They're not going to give you those protections unless you go in there. So look, if we're going to do this, if we're going to do this thing, I keep saying this. We got 64 days. You've heard me say this. Some people are taking this pretty seriously, me included on this is, we'll sleep when we're dead. Now is not the time. Now is not the time. 
We need to knock the doors, make the phone calls, register people to vote, give what we can, encourage people to get out there, have the conversations. And the one thing that the Vice President does it all with is hard work can be good work. Difficult tasks can be done with a sense of joy because our country depends on it. Our children depend on it. And to be quite candid, the rest of the world depends on us to stand up and vote for a pro-democracy, pro-worker, pro-future candidate. So it's our time. So let me say, when we fight, when we fight, 